we've always incorporated one-off parts into our car as much as possible. When we would sub those out, wheels, valve covers, any kind of part, we were on someone else's timeline. So it wasn't necessarily the quality of the parts or anything like that, but we're subject to waiting in line. So we have a VF5 SS with a TR210 fifth axis, and that gives us just unlimited capability. The machine is already massive, so we don't have to constantly remove the fifth axis if we're just doing vertical machining. It's off to one side. If we have something huge, it's not a big deal. We can go in there with a forklift, pull it out, reset it when we go in. But we haven't taken it out once yet. We've been able to accomplish everything we need. My name's Tom Opoff. We're here at SaltWorks Fab in Sarasota, Florida. So far, the mass majority of our machine has been for a one-off vehicle that we built. We're building this car for a customer that never existed before. So we have to make everything for it from the valve covers to the brake master cylinder to the gas and brake pedal to the, the dash insert, the steering wheel, the wheels, all the trim around the car, the rear view mirror, the headlights, the headlight bezels and the headlights themselves, the taillight bezels and the taillights themselves. So we machine those all out of acrylic and then we dye it red for the taillights and we keep it clear and it's a polished headlight. We're actually doing that right now. And then we've even got to the point with that car, we'll machine an insert for like a radio cover, but the bezel that goes around it that is actually part of the dash, we'll machine that, but then we'll machine the edges out to the thickness of the dash so it can be welded in. But then we know our part fits exactly. So we're not trying to fit a machined part to a handcrafted part, we fit a machine part to a machine part. So we typically complete about two to three cars a year. We have a three year backlog for the last five years of waiting customers. We bring in the car as a whole or parts. We do all the fabrication for it. And from there it goes into the mechanical side where it gets wired and plumbed. From there, parts get machined for it. So any uh, trim items or one-off items or parts that we created, whether it's a brake pedal that we didn't want to cut out of metal or use existing, and we make a new brake pedal, we machine that. That gets all handled, then it goes to paint. Paint handles everything, any kind of coatings that we need. So once they're done with that, it comes into the upholstery shop. It gets upholstered. From upholstery, it goes back into mechanical and gets final assembly. We're just trying to always make a better quality part, a better end product, more efficiently. And the reason for choosing Haas is probably, I don't know if many people even understand this, but I was an engineer in 97, a friend of mine left to go work for Haas. And a month later, I called him and asked him, how's it going over there? And he goes, well, you'll never believe what I had to do. He goes, my first day in the job, they took me out into the shop and I had to disassemble a machine and put it back together. I go, that's the greatest thing that could ever happen for an engineer. And now you actually know why the machine operates and how it operates from your own perspective and mindset. So you, that machine's gonna be that much better. And that, from that day one, I was in love with Haas. And I love ours, it works great. We just can't use it enough.